Good morning, everybody. I'm here on my 7 a.m. run on Thursday morning. And uh, by saying here, I don't mean at Davos, although I feel like I'm at Davos. It's minus one degree here in Paris. Let me show you where I am, actually. Christmas tree still in view. I'm in front of the town hall of the 6th arrondissement, which is known as Saint-Germain-de-Pré. And right in front of me is the veritable church of Saint-Sulpice. And um, the reason I am um, making this video, which I think it's upside down, is because the world is upside down at the moment. And I was reading through the World Economic Forum risk report, and we have a lot of dangers that we can become sad and disappointed about. So I've been listening and reading intensively about what's happening at Davos, the new ideas, the stakeholders' capitalism. I've been listening to interesting speeches because, in fact, I'm really passionate about seeing how can I implement some of these things in my small world. Because I surely, I surely don't have the access to the bigger world. Some things that stayed with me yesterday is the one trillion tree planting tree um, initiative. I was looking at their website, it's very impressive. I um, signed up as Northern Lights Impact, which is my company that deals with nonprofit actions and committed to the CO2 reduction. I looked on the Evian's site, which is my favorite water, and I noticed it's very difficult to, to obtain water that is in non-plastic containers. And uh, I have been listening to different speeches, including a very impressive speech by Imran Khan, the Prime Minister of Pakistan. And uh, I was very impressed. When you're a captain, you always stay as a captain. Um, I absolutely love Pakistan. I had the honor to go to Pakistan, to be invited twice for lengthy periods of time. And I have had the most incredible and delightful times. I got to know Pakistani people quite well. And all I have to say about Imran Khan's speech is that Pakistan is a seems to be a wonderful country where in 2019 terrorism has been at the lowest since 9-11. It's a well-positioned country. It's surrounded by important trading nations. And it's a country full of mineral potentials which are highly unexploited, as well as it's a country with a lot of potential for tourism. So I would like to encourage everybody who has not had a chance to listen to the Davos speeches to just go on YouTube and Google some of what the visionaries of today's world have to say, including the founder of Salesforce, who is such an impressive personality. I have never heard him speak until today, until yesterday. I encourage you to listen to the World Economic Forum speeches. I encourage you to speak to the issues about 5G. Here's the bus issues about 5G and how we should not allow uh, our non-European competitive to install themselves um, and their lack of democracy into our own soil further. And um, I would like to say that at Davos there is a lot of there is a lot of vision happening and uh, of course nothing will happen overnight but in our own world on a daily basis we can make a difference and we can only do that by affecting the ones closest to us and also by having a lot of introspection about our purpose and what we're doing. Have a great day uh, from minus one degrees here in Paris. I'm going to finish my run and then I will continue <laughs> with, with my work because I'm actually having um, a job selling spare parts through Infinity Supply to the emerging nations. Thank you and have a great day everybody once again.